Hello there, ghouls and ghosties. It feels so good to be able to say that again. Even just saying that gets me all like excited. So, <laughs> I'm sure I had the date thing kind of pop up at the bottom here. Um, it's not fall yet. Today is actually July 3rd, so it's the day before the 4th of July. But I really want to just go see if I can see anything Halloween. So this is probably included in the beginning of the first haunt hunt. So also welcome to the first haunt hunt. I'm so flippin' excited. This is the first haunt hunt. If you're new to this channel, this channel literally after the 4th of July basically turns into an exclusively Halloween and spooky season channel. I am obsessed with Halloween. Like that's even the word obsessed is an understatement. I literally am so into Halloween, it's crazy. So during the Halloween season, I do a lot of Halloween decor hunting, which I call haunt hunts. I also do vlogs with Ryan, my fiance. We do vlogs of tons of Halloween activities. We go to a jack-o'-lantern show every year at the zoo. We go to, we do trials. We try new fall foods. We try fall beers. We do just all kinds of fall Halloween content because it's my favorite thing on earth to do. And my probable favorite thing to do for the channel is the haunt hunts. And this is the first one, and now I've derailed so much. There's literally probably nothing, but as I said last year, I am in a bunch of Halloween groups on Facebook and on Instagram of people that hunt for Halloween decorations like me. And in other states, some people, some people have been seeing Halloween in home goods, bath and body works, and at home. I'm gonna check an at home today, I'm gonna check a home goods today, and I'm gonna check a Bath and Body Works today, just to see. My only goal for the day, my only goal, is to just see something Halloween related. I have very low expectations, but if I could even just see something Halloween related in an actual store, I will be pumped. I don't even need to buy anything. I just want to see something. It's been months and months since spooky season ended last year, and I am just craving seeing something spooky in a store. So if we just see something, I'm going to consider that a win. But like I said, I'm just going to go look. It's July 3rd. I don't really expect any stores to start switching things over until at least after July. I know mid-July is kind of when it picks up. So we're gonna go look. I'm in my Garfield. The one thing I'm not is a scaredy cat. But the one thing I'm not is a scaredy cat. Ah! Shirt, I have my Moschino pumpkin belt on. I'm not full Halloween like glam today. I don't have a spooky bag yet because I just don't need that kind of judgment. And I will start to do like spooky outfits of the day. And I also have said I want to do a literal, like a full tour of my spooky couture at some point on this channel, but that's for the future. Let's get into the first ever haunt hunt of 2022. I'm really excited. Let's go. How flippin rude of me. I forgot to tell you guys the Skelly's here. Um, He's like, okay, I guess I just don't matter anymore. Skelly is in my car all year. So I think that's why I forgot because it's not new to me that Skelly's in here, but Kevin is also in here too, if you remember Kevin. Kevin is the skull that just sits on the back kind of like shelf there or whatever. Usually Kevin's like really well jammed in there, but Kevin got a little crazy and he hit the floor. We're also gonna go to Cracker Barrel. I saw a post this morning that someone's Cracker Barrel had got stuff in and Cracker Barrel stuff weirdly sells out like really, really fast. So Cracker Barrel, Bath and Body, at home, and then home gets. We are at Cracker Barrel. And I also just realized last year, the first stop we did of all of the haunt hunting was also Cracker Barrel, which is so weird. I literally probably haven't been here since then because I just don't eat at Cracker Barrel. The sign's right there. You can't see it, but that's where we are. It's kind of busy because it's the 4th of July Sunday, like 4th of July weekend. So this is probably a dumb idea. Total strikeout, but absolutely not a surprise to me. I'm a little more hopeful, I feel like, for Bath and Body. I could picture at home having stuff more than I could picture home goods having stuff. Again, I don't really expect to see anything anywhere. So if I see anything, it's a total Halloween 
for the day. Our Bath and Body Works is in this mall. Well, at least I hope it's still here. It's like one of three or four stores left. This is like the saddest mall on earth. This was my childhood mall. When I was a kid, it was full and hustling and bustling. And now it's like empty. So it's kind of like sad to go into. I honestly go here under five times a year just because there's nothing in here anymore. But Spirit of Halloween sometimes comes here and Bath and Body is in here, I believe. <laughs> at least it's not busy. <laughs> Like, even last time I came, this was still open. Things just continuously close. Am I the only one in here? It's kind of scary. <laughs> Could be like a haunted mall. Look, even advertisement signs are empty now. Even the ads are down. This used to be Hollister. This was like the classic Californian looking, you could smell it from a mile away, Hollister. <laughs> R.I.P. They had a few of the fall candles, but I think they have separate ones that are actually Halloween candles. I didn't like any of the smells of these ones. Guys, look. That's a sign. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. So I just got done with my errands. My other errands, I had some errands to do that weren't spooky, so like, pfft. Let's get back to Halloween hunting now. There is a home goods right here, and it's that one, if you remember last year, that is connected to a TJ's, and I said it's like the busiest place on freaking earth. Well, it still is. If anything, it's worse. And if I find anything, you literally have to stand in a, like, hour long line. <laughs> No thanks. Please let us let us find something. We have arrived at Grand Central freaking station. Let's try our luck. Unfortunately, no Halloween to be found today in this home goods. There was still a lot of Fourth of July and there was this one orange that I thought was a pumpkin, but nope, it wasn't. I can't lie, I'm feeling a little defeated so far. Let's see if At Home has it. I think in our area, At Home was the first place to get anything spooky in. So please, At Home, don't disappoint us. Just have something, just anything. Again, no Halloween to be found, but I think it's a good sign that all the summer and all the 4th of July is already half off on clearance. I thought I would add in a little clip of how the pumpkins are coming at first. I think they were super stressed and they turned kind of yellowy and I was really nervous. Now I think they're looking really, really good. I'm excited about that. It's also the 4th of July now, so happy 4th. Good morning, ghouls and gals. I think I have something where it like pops up the date on the video clip, but if you didn't see that, it is July 5th. It is early in the morning after the 4th of July. It is like 8 o'clock and and happy spooky season! <laughs> the next holiday I would like to inform you guys is now Halloween. I mean, I know that there's Labor Day. I'm talking like celebrated, kind of like traditional style holidays. The next one is Halloween. So welcome to spooky season and welcome to our second attempt at haunt hunting. I still today don't have very high hopes and I'm kind of gonna work in, see I'm not even in like spooky garb. This is like a black and orange Lululemon polo. I have to swing by the gym first and then I actually have some other errands to run today. I didn't dress appropriately for haunt hunting. I do apologize. July 3rd, which you guys just saw, was a flop. Again, I just want to see something. I just want to see like one thing at least. I have some hope in at home because at home, as you guys just saw in those clips, at home had really, really been clearing out their seasonal section and everything was on clearance. And I know even if they still have stuff left from their last season, they move it to like this corner, this like clearance corner. And that's probably where the 4th of July has been going overnight and today. So I feel like I have the highest hopes in at home. I mean, Home Goods is gonna be moving their 4th of July sections to clearance as well, but I don't have as much hope of them clearing out and moving stuff as quick. So at home would not have back to school because back to school is like the next season for like the big box stores. But for at home, I'm thinking Halloween's the next season. 
totally forgot I was going to show you guys, but I got my knockoff kind of pumpkin spice latte. So here's what it is. And it's just, I add chai to my either iced coffee or my cold brew and the spices and stuff that's in the chai syrup really give it this kind of like pumpkin spice fall-esque. So if you're interested in trying that, it is so good. Sometimes I almost wonder if it's like better than the pumpkin spice. It is really, really, really good and very reminiscent. By the way, the gang is all here. We got Skelly, once again, longingly looking out the window, looking for fall. We got little Skelly, my fave. We stand. And we have Kevin. It's a little afternoon now, and we are at the first hot hunt stop. We did not go to this home the other day, so fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was walking out in defeat and my eyes caught the jack-o'-lantern face on this blanket. I cannot believe we actually spotted a piece of Halloween already. Guys, I'm freaking pumped. Okay, we'll talk in the car, but I'm pumped. Guys, oh my gosh. So like I said the other day, all I freaking needed to do was just see one thing and I knew it would just give me this burst of serotonin and sure enough it did. You guys saw that in there, it was like an outdoor Halloween blanket. It was like not soft, it was the kind you like picnic on. So I didn't get it because I don't have a use for that. But the fact that I freaking saw a piece of Halloween in a retail store, I'm jazzed. I'm so pumped and you know what that means. It's beginning. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. And I didn't even have any hope for any home goods at all. I was like, none of them in the area are going to have anything at all. And this one, especially this one last year, like really didn't have anything. So I cannot believe that this is the first one I've seen anything in. And I don't even care what it was. I don't even care what it was. Something I like, something I don't like, something I need, something I don't need. I don't care. But we saw Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to look up the area and see if I'm near another home goods. You guys will see in a second. I'm so excited. This is the home goods closest to me, and it looks like they're clearing some shelves in the seasonal area, and I did spot some pumpkins. And oh my gosh, around the corner, there were two end stands being set up with Halloween decor. So I decided to walk around the store and see if there was anything hidden in any nooks and crannies, and sure enough, the blanket and pillow section had been starting to get stocked. There were really cute blankets with skeletons, there were ones with pumpkins, there were some that were more like fall, but then there was also a heavy mix of Halloween ones. I decided to get this spooky season one because it is our first spotting of a real Halloween section and I felt like I needed to get something. And up front they had a new cart of stuff that was waiting to be put out and there was a heavy amount of Halloween and fall items there as well. So that seems like a really, really good sign to me. I think they are getting in Halloween. Okay guys, so new day, as you can see by the date that's somewhere on the screen. And I am still like freaking out that this home goods has Halloween stuff that you just saw. And I'm actually back at that home goods again, and it's the next day. And I'm gonna check again, and then after I'm done today, I'm gonna kind of talk more to you guys about how freaking pumped I am that they have Halloween already. I didn't get to say anything yesterday because I was in a rush to meet my mom for lunch. I actually wasn't even supposed to stop. I was just stopping by really quick and I told her it'd be like one minute and it took me a little bit longer because there was actually Halloween. I was not expecting that. So I'm gonna run in right now, see if there's anything new. It's literally only been 24 hours, so I doubt it. And then we'll chit chat because I'm really excited and I wanna talk about it. In the same area where they had a cart yesterday of new things going out, they have a new cart and it's full of a bunch of different Halloween stuff. And so like I expected, they must be getting in a full truck basically of Halloween things. That is so exciting because all of this stuff is new stuff that I didn't see yesterday. I can't believe they already have this much in. Even those same end stands from yesterday already have a couple new things on them, and they have a new full section of one of my favorite sections in Home Goods. It's the drinkware section. They have the same hand wine glasses that they had last year, along with the same metallic skeleton ones, so I definitely grabbed a few of those. They have some Ouija board cutting boards that I really liked, but Ryan doesn't like Ouija boards. And then also they had these light up metal decor, which is not really my style, but I still thought they were pretty cool.
They had filled their tablecloth and placemat section quite a bit with a lot of different styles of stuff. I really liked this ghost one, but I unfortunately don't really have a use for a tablecloth right now, so I did pass on everything there, but I did really like them. I also then started to hunt all around the store for any new cart of things going out, because I had already seen two or three carts and I was like, I know there are more in here. And sure enough, there were. And once again, all these carts were like 50% Halloween and maybe 50% other things. It seemed to me that a lot of this Halloween stuff they're getting in right now is a lot of shower and bathroom items, a lot of candles, and then a lot of kitchen stuff, which I do really appreciate the kitchen stuff, but again, I don't really have uses for bathroom items currently. Halloween gnomes, or any gnomes really, will always be the bane of my existence. I wish Home Goods would cut out the gnomes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I cannot. I was literally sitting here, there's home goods. I was literally sitting here before I went in. I was like, I'm gonna look like such a fool. It's gonna be the same employees and there's gonna be no more Halloween. Even though I said to the one yesterday, I was like, you'll be seeing me because you're starting to have Halloween out. And I didn't expect to be here like the next day, but it was totally worth it. Oh my gosh, they already had so so much more like obviously it's still no like nowhere near everything but i was hunting through every single like restock or stocking cart i like went all around the store to find everything and so i found a shower curtain i actually already have this one it's hey boo by ray dunn but i thought i should have an extra because shower curtains can get dirty and then these are in the bag but i mean obviously you guys know that uh hall oween will be coming up at some point but i got a bunch of the glasses oh my gosh like i literally last year wanted one of those wine glasses so bad and i found one and then i could never find any more like the rest of the year i think i maybe found some like joanne's version of it and they were nowhere near as nice but they were fully stocked on the glasses i got a little a more like cylindrical one versus a wine glass and then i got stemmed wine glasses and i got one more small wine glass guys it is happening. I'm so excited. I cannot believe how much there already was. Like, it's literally July 6th or something. I need to get my butt to some other home goods because I'm shook. And you guys might be seeing this video a little earlier than I expected now because I was like, oh, it's just going to be footage throughout July of me just like not finding anything and striking out. But Obviously, we're gonna have some earlier than last year Halloween stuff. I'm so excited, so excited. That's all I got though. The rest was like either too expensive, they have upped their prices since last year, I will say. That Witch's Brew Cauldron was like at least $10 more than last year. And also, what was I gonna say? Um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Oh! I did look for my two, I have two wish list things so far. Again, we're, we're hardly even just starting. I would hardly even say we're just starting. Like we're just tipping our toes into spooky season. But I do have two things on my wish list that I've seen on a Facebook group. And it's this wicker pumpkin basket that's at Home Goods that I really, really, really want. And then it is this skull lamp, which I checked both sections. Mine does not have it yet, at least this one. Also, this is the closest Home Goods to my house. And this is the one with the most so far. And it is like destiny. Anyways, I've been talking too long. I'm gonna go, but next clip, I guess. We just stopped at Home Goods. And I'll show you guys the clips to what we spotted. They definitely did have some stuff. Yeah, you found another Halloween hunter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Kind of like I was saying yesterday, it seems like a lot of these home goods are really starting to get in a lot of kitchen items. This one had new placemats and tablecloths I hadn't seen at the last one, and they also had bakeware at this one, and it was a lot of Ray Dunn bakeware, but honestly, as I've said in the past, I am not a big Ray Dunn person, but there's definitely some of the Halloween stuff that I do really like with the more basic terms like boo and spooky. And of course, I was noticing quite a few repeat items like the skeleton hand wine glasses. I definitely don't like the black ones as much as I like the clear ones. And then the witch's brew cauldron we just saw yesterday as well.
a lot of bathroom stuff at this home goods as well it's probably basically all repeats from yesterday it's just that yesterday we saw it on a new cart instead of actually out on the shelf and then a ton of pillows at this location ryan and i both noticed this eyeball one and we both liked it all right another check-in on the pumpkins look at how freaking fast they're growing they are literally thriving. I'm so excited about it. I even put up this fence for them. All right, guys, I am for the third day in a row stopping at that same home goods, the one that's closest to me. Only because, like you just saw with Debbie and Ryan, my mom and my fiance, I freaking scored once again. That home goods, which we head checked, that's the one that's like Grand Central Station, finally started to get stuff in too. And so now I just want to check the one closest to me again just to see if there's more. And then actually, in like a day, we're going on a week long vacation. So it would be a pause in hunting, except actually. Actually, on the way up, we might stop at some home goods. So actually, that might be thrown into this video as well, up north. And I'm actually dressed in more spooky garb today than I was the other day. This is my black cat. I think it's a coffee shop. I don't know where it's from. I got it from a thrift store and I just love it. It's so spooky. And then I actually have some Mount something pumpkin patch sweat shorts on. So I'm actually looking spooky today. I don't even have a bag with me period to show you, like nothing at all. So we're gonna go in, see if there's anything new. As I expected, not much new here. There were a few new pillows that were in different spots and a few new blankets from yesterday, but really there wasn't too much new that caught my attention. Well, it's the day of our vacation. It's July 9th and what am I doing? Um, going to get Starbucks, which I will let you guys know. I haven't been getting Starbucks at all this year. This is probably gonna be like my under 10th Starbucks drink of the year, just because they've raised their prices and it's kind of ridiculous. So I'm thinking the only time I'm really gonna get Starbucks is when they have the pumpkin spice flavor. But this week I've just been extra tired, so I have been getting it. Anyways, it's the day we go on vacation, but I am gonna check Cracker Barrel and I'm gonna get Starbucks. So that's my plans right now. Our drive is four hours north up to a cabin. There are two home goods that I'm gonna stop at, and actually, there's a Tuesday morning, because I know Tuesday mornings have their Halloween out, and around here, we have none of them, but up there, there's one. I'm pretty sure then this will be the seal on the end of the first haunt hunt of 2022, and I'm so excited. I do really wanna get this uploaded to you guys anyways, and I might upload it this next week, so you might be seeing this on a 10th of July day, because I really kinda wanna get this out to you guys and show you guys, because I'm just excited to kick off the Halloween hunt hunts. So let's go to Cracker Barrel. Nothing in Cracker Barrel. I think Home Goods is really spoiling us this year by having Halloween out so early and in such like big quantities. When I was looking around Cracker Barrel, I was like, oh my gosh, they don't even have any Halloween out yet. Like how come, what's wrong with them? Like <laughs> thinking to myself, just like, wow, why is there no Halloween here yet? And then I just kind of clicked and I'm like, okay, well it is July 9th. Like I'm sure a lot of places are not even thinking Halloween yet. Home Goods is just spoiling us and <laughs> it's getting me too, it's, I think it's, it's building my expectations a little too high, but that's okay. I'll just stick to Home Goods. <laughs> like I said, coming up right after I'm done talking, because that's all these videos are, it's just me babbling. Two Home Goods that are in more of a Northern Minnesota area and a Tuesday morning, which I've actually never been in period let alone for their Halloween stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. So let's go. We're on our way now to our vacation. This is our first home goods stop and I do have a surprise for you guys. Brian's coming, of course, because Brian's going on the vacation. Hi. But we have one more guest who's going into home goods with us because sure. they do allow this type of individual. Home goods, if you didn't know, and DJs and stuff allow dogs. So Mike's gonna go to Home Goods for the first time ever. And on his first haunt hunt.
This location had the same tall metal items that the one near my house had. Of course, gnomes as well. Lots and lots of freaking gnomes. There was a really good amount of new things I hadn't seen at any of my other locations before though, so that was exciting, including this pug soap thing, which was hilarious since this is the one time I've had Mike in here. I loved this pumpkin imprinted rolling pin, but I kind of just didn't see a need that I would have for that. And again, this store had a ton of like kitchen towels, and they also seemed to be putting out new stuff because all of the new cards that were sitting out had a ton of Halloween on them. I always like haunted house items, I'm not sure why, but I almost wanted this soap dispenser. And I went back to look for the skull light and found these spider lamps. You know I got one. I was tempted to get one of these ghost back sit-up chairs, but I just passed on it because I think it was $40. I'm kind of kicking myself over it, but I'm not sure. It was pretty expensive. These pumpkins on this pillow were super cute too. While we were in line, I spotted a new card coming out, and there was a bunch of stuff on it that I actually really liked. From that cart, I got this scaredy cat plate, this boo to you ghost plate, along with this eat, drink, and be scary skeleton plate, and this pumpkin spice and everything nice jack-o'-lantern plate. And I got a set of too small and too large of this pumpkin plate as well. I really, really like all these and they're super high quality. I'm thinking Mike must be a good luck charm because we really scored on this trip. This is the first Tuesday morning I've literally ever been in in my life, so we'll see what they have for Halloween. Tuesday morning really didn't have too much of anything, and the stuff that they had I really, really was not a fan of. It was very cheap feeling and also just kind of not my style. So I'm not as bummed now that the Tuesday morning that had been close to me is closed because I don't really feel like I'm missing out on anything that I would want. It is our last home goods for this haunt hunt, and Mike wanted to be here for the finale. Kind of like the other home goods we were just at, this one is quite full of Halloween things. It's not just one section in the front of Halloween items. There were multiple sections throughout the store. Honestly, it was a pretty good mix of repeat items and then totally new items I still haven't seen yet. This pillow reminded Ryan of Oogie Boogie, so he really liked it. They had a lot of pillows at this location as well. I feel like from seeing online other people's photos of their home goods, pillows are a plenty this year, but I did find the pillow that I was on the hunt for, so that is fantastic. I also found the skull lamp. I am so excited. I can't believe I actually found it. Holy gnome overload. This store had more gnomes than I've seen in any other home goods and I hate it. When I was younger, frogs were my favorite animal, so I totally would have loved this about like six, seven years ago. He works, so he's coming home with us. 
And this is the ugliest lamp I've ever seen in my life, so it's not coming anywhere near us. The dog section is starting to get a lot of Halloween items in as well. I wanted to get Mike something, but nothing really caught my eye, so I'll wait till a different home goods. And I did really like this ghost and pumpkin face dish towel. It was super cute, and seven wasn't that bad for it, but I know that the ghost would just get super dirty really, really quick. Also, I hadn't seen any other ones before, these waffle makers. I know Target had one of them last year, but I had not seen them at home goods before. And once again, it just seemed like there was quite a good amount of new stuff. This really makes me want to see if there are any other home goods on my way back, maybe after vacation, because I'm thinking they all have a lot of different stuff. Well, that being the last haunt hunt stop for this video is actually absolutely perfect because we found two of the wish list items that I've had. I wanted that pumpkin stack pillow, and I definitely did not think I was gonna find one of those lamps anywhere, but I found one of those too. So that was perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed haunt hunt number one. Do not worry, there are many, many, many more. It's literally only like the second week of July. There's more coming. So thank you yeah. for joining us on this either Wednesday or Friday. I'm not sure yet what day it's going up. CBD. Mike had a blast on his first haunt hunt and his first home goods run. And I will see you guys on this channel next week sometime for something. Bye. <laughs>